All right, I want to do a quick little demo on how to use this uh, to me, a plastic scriber. Um, I'm also going to use, just use a piece of plot plate to demonstrate this and some Dymo tape. Dymo tape is just a label maker tape. It's actually a really thin plastic that has a adhesive on the back. And uh, it's a little bit thicker than regular tape and it holds its shape and it makes it a little more difficult to uh, to mess up the edge so you get a nice clean edge when you're working. Um, and the scriber, of course, uh, get the blade out here. It has a really unique shaped blade and for the most part you're going to be using this edge here. Mine's a little rusty blade here because I've been using it for quite a while. Uh, they, they last quite well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it breaking or any of that kind of stuff and it does come with extra blades in the handle. So we're going to be using mostly this edge. <clears throat> so a piece of plot plate. Normally you would you know kind of sketch where you want your your lines to go. For this I'm just going to do a couple of straight lines just so we can we can show you the easiest way or basically how this tool works. Um, I guess in order no yeah okay um, grab a piece of Dymo tape here I can get this backing peeled off. Oh. This backing is really difficult to get off sometimes. But the Dymo tape is really good because it has a pretty strong adhesive on it. Uh, it won't mar the plastic or anything, but it actually works really good for sticking to plot plate or uh, plastic parts and it's easy to remove and you can kind of get a couple of uses out of it like you can use it a couple times it peels off fairly easily but it gives you a nice straight edge something to, to follow with the tool now with the scriber tool you basically just put it along the edge <clears throat> again using the the very edge or the very tip of it and just really gently scratch along the edge like no pressure at all you just kind of let the tool follow the the edge do that a couple of times and then just a, a light pressure and depending on how thick you want the line like right now that is about as deep just with those three little pulls as a standard panel line on a kit um, if you want a larger line you just go deeper and deeper so you can kind of control how deep you want the line to be so with just those three or four pulls you remove the tape <clears throat> you got a really nice little edge there and it's probably hard to see on the white plot plate but I've done a couple of other lines on the other side and I'll show you in a minute um, also if you want to do like a more complex line you just use that same piece of Dymo tape there and I'm gonna grab another piece here of the uh, Dymo tape because a lot of times you're not going to be carving straight lines, you're going to want to do something a little more dynamic. Um, it's really easy to uh, to use this tape. I mean, you could even cut the tape into a special shape if that's what you need. Um, and since it's reusable, you can uh, place it over like in a different area if you're trying to do symmetrical lines or something like that. So I'm going to use these two pieces so that we can make a line along the outer edge here. <clears throat> um, let's see. So we do it just like, like we did before. We place the, the blade edge right against it. Gently scrape one, two, and then just using a little bit of pressure, I'm going to do the third one right there. Now I'm going to do this piece, I'll go right to the edge, same thing, very, very light pressure, two, three, two. try to get right to the edge there, and then to connect the two, same thing, put it right on the edge, light pressure, got to be careful not to skip past the end here. But again, just doing a very light pressure, it should catch right there on that, that edge. Remove these little scrapings here. A little wide there. 
Now I'm just kind of giving the whole thing one last pass over. These edges can be a little, or corners can be a little tricky. There is a, <clears throat> another method you can use to help with these edges, and that would be just to take like a thumbtack or a pen and simply <clears throat> put a dot or put a, a point where you, where you want the corners to be. And then you can connect those two spots and it will click as it hits those points. Now this is a, a freehand edge here so it's not going to be nearly as smooth. Take our tape off. And there we have a nice panel lined edge. You can always go back after you've taken the tape off. Ooh, sorry about that. Hit the camera. And give it a nice little pass. <clears throat> the unique thing about this tool also is this back edge here. If you flip the blade over and use this back edge, you can use it to went across the line there. Um, you can use it to feather the edge out or make it a, a wider panel line and kind of uh, gets rid of that rough jagged edge. Um, of course this tool makes the edge pretty clean anyway if you were using something like a dental tool or a nail or the back of an exacto blade the edge will be a lot rougher. This is a lot cleaner but I'm just trying to step it up a little bit there. All right, so that gives you a nice line um, let's see, if you do have a little mistake, like right there, I went over the edge just a little bit. Um, if it's not too deep, you can always just sand over this and uh, get rid of some of the, the rough edges. Um, or you can always just take a little bit of putty, put it in there, let it dry, and then sand it down smooth. If you need to, just kind of rescribe the line. But that's basically how you do it. It's really quick with this tool. Um, trying to use like the back of an X-Acto blade. Uh, let's do this with the same method basically with the Dymo tape and do it with the, the back of the blade. Now this is an older blade that's got a broken tip on it <clears throat> which is usually ideal for this. However, doing with the, the blade they're, they're more prone to slip and also it takes a lot more pressure to try and get a line. Um, the lines tend to be a lot thinner as well, so they're going to need a lot more cleanup afterwards. Oh, sorry, bumping the camera there. Now on this side I've already done a couple of lines just to show you the differences, and I did it with a black marker so that it would be a little easier uh, to denote the differences here. The first line, it, oh, <clears throat> first line here is with a dental tool, and you can kind of see See if I can get it to focus here. You can see how rough the edges are. Focus. There we go. Um, I just went through with a Gundam marker and blacked these in so you could see. This is a dental tool. This is with the black with the back of an Exacto uh, blade. Same thing. This is the dental tool, back of an Exacto blade, and the Tamiya panel scriber. And this is a panel scriber line. And this is a more complex line thickened with the back of the blade. Um, not the best quality, but I did it really quickly just to have a little demo for you guys. I uh, hope that helps and enjoy.